Hi there, it's a lovely sunny afternoon and I'm at my Crosby and uh, this is Burbo Point. I love these 1930s sort of flats. I think there's a, some of them, they're listed if they're sort of, they're sort of like retro 1930s. They're actually concrete, there's a, some like that near the uh, Bergdale Golf Club on the main road there. So I thought I'd drop by, I've been to Southport, stop here. I think it's £1.10 pence for two hours, but I've, I wanted to do these flats anyway, so I've saved £1.10, pence. but I can get myself a coffee or something. So I'm not, uh, I'm not a grifter. There's plenty of them around, isn't there? Anyway. I've not actually been here before, but if I have, when I was very small, because I lived in Thornton, which is north of here, I went to school at Crosby County Secondary Boys School. Uh, we used to go to the swimming baths, which were novel even then. It was seawater. Obviously, they'd filtered it or whatever. So, um, yeah, it looks really nice here. Very prestigious. Oh, I think I'll uh, avoid the little pathway there. I'll avoid getting run over. I love the fact that it silhouettes. Let's just get off the road and then zoom into these couples on these benches here. Have to zoom it to get it spot in the middle of the screen near as I can and then I'll have to adjust it because there's such a big zoom on this uh. yeah let's zoom out a bit it looks probably a bit better the wind turbines a lot of them on the coast here and up into Wales yeah so let's explore to be honest I couldn't work out that uh, you know I was gonna pay for the ticket it was cheap I couldn't work a blinking thing out you know it's so worn so I couldn't read the instructions on it and it was trying to sell me a 40 pence ticket, which was half an hour, which is no good. You know, and then I should try it. I couldn't try to adjust the price on it. Sorry about this tale of woe. This here is part of the RNLI, I think. Well, it's marked on the map. Maybe it's around the corner here. Used to be keeping guard at the gate there for some reason. Or is it ambulance or something? Reception? It's possible, isn't it? Yeah. All will be revealed. So I'll just take the time to walk around. Lovely. People just sat there. Taking in the view. The light is good, isn't it? Look at that sort of. So normally I just take a small film, a reel, but uh, I think it's worthy of a bit longer than one and a half minutes. wood in there some planks of wood Coast Guard lifeguards is there actually somebody in there 
I'm not going to push the camera in his face. Is it? Oh, it's a scenario thing or whatever. Somebody mentioned Anthony Gormley. But that's not him, that's a cormorant. Various other things. I'll just... Uh, I've got my sound man on. He's doing the sound. So the Gormley figures are out there somewhere. There they are. See? Another one. Or it could be a very uh, still walker out there. No, I think they're all Gormleys. I might get the odd ship we can get a glimpse of. Let's uh, go up. I go on Frogin Marshes and Inns Marshes and uh, there's some nice walks there and there happens to be wind turbines and other biomass which is all you all your waste, kitchen waste and stuff is converted into fuel. You know. Could possibly convert it into methane. Yeah, is there anyone in there? No. So we can have a look, see what they get up to. cafe. I'm missing out. Oh, there's an ice cream man. Do you know, I might have fish and chips on the way home. Fancy cooking or anything. ship out there it's right in the distance it's the Mary Celeste no it's not it's not got any masts on it oh, it's, at least it's not tilted on its side it's coming straight at me I'll be able to move out of the way I think you all right Go a little bit more. No. I think I'm there. Zoom out again. Yeah, it says on the sign, welcome to another place, Crosby Beach. Sefton. Sefton's a whole area. Many places around Crosby Beach. Part of Sefton. So let's just uh, let's go back to that building there, or those flats. I like them. There's some scaffolding in there. It's a shame. Well, they look really nice. I know. Should we go and ask this? Well, I was going to say, should we ask this fellow if he, he's got the time? But I've got to watch on it. It's, it's. A, I just look at one of these Gormley figurines.
further along here that uh, during the blitz they dumped a lot of um, you know all the all the damaged properties including uh, the tiles floor tiles everything's there and that's I sort of like the idea because that's they, they look like but they're all bricks as you can see there's a brick there and there are lots more further up towards Liverpool we've got a huge amount of this blitz they just took it all and dumped it onto the uh, beach more wind turbines there They're, that's on the way to Seaforth which is the start of the docks the Seaforth docks there which is a free port and also it's container vessels almost exclusively now there's no although there are some cranes oh yeah but the cranes of course they are not using my head the cranes are specialized ones you know that lift up there's a there's a gull on top of that uh, gormley statue there let's see if we can get that mm. Birds about, which there would be. Oh, that's going some some right there. That there's a glare on my screen, so um, I think I've got it. There it is. That's going a fair whack for a quite a large vessel. Right? It's medium size, sort of bigger than a trawler a mini cruiser surely that's not some playboy with his bunnies <laughs> no I think they no but it's going that's good I've caught that that's, uh, you can't really get because the sun is beyond it you can't read normally you'd be able to read the name on the vessel Look at the wake that thing's creating. Let's have a look again. Look at this. See beyond the vessel? I thought there were small boats, but that, that's the wake. It's churning up all that. All that water. Very impressive, though. It's not really very deep there, by the way. There are channels. I hope he knows what he's doing at that speed seems very confident to travel into Liverpool for the larger vessels of course you get the um, tugs bring the vessel in guide it feet wet now. Yes. See the pudding casts. 
because it's a large amount of um, bronze or whatever's in there, or is it just iron? Yeah. Oh, he's got some. Um, Look away, ladies. Didn't even bother to get a fig leaf on it, eh? I don't know. Now this is only for adults. This, uh, I thought it was just a you know, quiet trip on the beach, but uh, no. Still got those lumps on his back. And he's looking out. off into the distance. I won't zoom too far. Uh, on the horizon. Right out there. And now we're clean. looking across into the Wirral there. See that? That's the Wirral. North end. limit. Uh, that's the Wirral. Birkenhead, New Brighton, Wallasey. Look at the wake coming out. Has it got three props or something or just two props? I don't know. That's Perch Rock. See that lighthouse there? That's at New Brighton. There's a fortress there. It's just to the left of it. Yeah. That could even be Wallasey uh, Town Hall there. The, you'll see the container, specialised cranes, and the docks, they come in there and they... There must be hundreds of tonnes of cargo going in and out there. Put it on mid view because there's nothing to see, it's so far away there. Oh, he's, he's well, the tide is right out, that's for sure. Don't know how quickly it comes in. Places like Morecambe and around there, that's sadly where those Chinese cocklers died a few years ago. They, they drowned. I don't know who was in charge, but. Uh, they obviously didn't tell them about the tide and they had no chance, the speed of it. Around there is Arnside Knot, I've been there many times, that's a nice place. You can see, I think it's the River Kent, you can see across to the lower level, the southern part of the Lake District. But it's a nice place on its own, you know, and it's really busy and say the lakes, you can go there, it's not quite as bad. Lots of other things on the horizon. Sadly, I haven't got. Um, see, there's bits and bobs out there. Sadly, because the the uh, it's a, a lot of glare. I can't see anything on. So yeah, there's a ship there. And funnily enough, I've seen it. They they disappear over the horizon, almost like you know. I don't know whether you know. We all know the world's flat. But they disappear, they say it's diffraction. You can't win with people like that. They just say it's diffraction, you know. Right. 
Anyway, I'm tolerant, if you want to believe it. It, it, it not, makes any harm. You don't believe it. That's strange, though, when there's all the other planets and the moons. They're all circular round. Well, they're globes, aren't they? Uh, um, unless they're com saying that they're all on their side. They're actually flat, but you know what I mean? So it's the full disk. Well, that doesn't happen with the moon. Anyway. <laughs> oh, there's a crane or something out there as well. Some kind of... Uh, yeah, what's that? Oh, that is the um, gas platform. I think it's a a gas platform. It could be oil, but I think it's gas. That's opposite Ainsdale, where I've been. Uh, I told you I've been to Southport as well, and Ainsdale. see if I can get the price on <laughs> I mean I could walk up to it but it's just a bit of fun isn't it you know do you remember when we used to have fun in the old days mm. he's here till seven I've also, I think I've forgotten to, uh, because it's on the phone. Oh no, it's on the gimbal, so it'll work. Yeah, when I've just got the phone, I made a mistake. Well, you're not to know. I thought, hey, hang on a minute, I can, without the gimbal, I can, it doesn't take a second to put the microphone on. But you had to put it down as wire, uh, wired, which is isn't. So it's not, it wasn't obvious that I made the mistake. But I just did that without doing that. But if you put it down as wired, and then the Bluetooth works properly then because it was, I thought there was a lot of wind and noise on that. So that's the story. It's not going to be published. <laughs> There's a guide, you know. The Idiot's Guide, you know, they've got them, haven't they, to the internet. The Idiot's Guide to uh, using a, a microphone properly. Oh, look, there I am. I'm waving now. Oh, somebody, no, they're not waving back from me. it a bit more suspect isn't it? doesn't matter if it appears to go slower when you do that it's an, it's an optical illusion I've already said it many times you put it widescreen and you appear to walk move faster that would apply to other things Very good beach here, nice and firm. Easy to walk on. Oh, this dispute going on with the goals. In the distance there is the North Wales mountains. Can you see that? Just a hint. Big mountains, aren't they? Oh yes, boil. Oh, 
There's somebody playing a... See if we can zoom in there, see what the... Somebody, uh... Oh, the ice cream van's over that way. Yeah. I'm assuming there's somebody there. Is it those two? Somebody playing... Is he a busker or something? I'm assuming it's him, I don't know. Oh, he's just got a camera, hasn't he? So he's shopping. Just as I turned the camera, of course, somebody, whoever it was, has stopped playing now. Is that his wife? Probably. Too much of a good thing. <laughs> then I'll know who that. Um, I think it's a harmonica, isn't it? For a moment, I thought it was in the western, you know, and they're around the chuck chuck wagon in the evening with a fire and they're eating those beans and uh, got flatulence I know I'll talk about waffle, but uh, just put change my clothes, and I've it's got this new um, conditioner. Not conditioner. Here you put it in the. It smells not that I've been. <laughs> it, it smells like a Baghdad bordello. <laughs> you know, like sort of exotic. Usually they're floral, you know, forest or whatever. But this was a... Yeah, Eastern Harem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's even a hint of Turkish delight. <laughs> yeah, read into that, I don't know. don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, oh, that's just nice, isn't it? It's a shame I can't go and get a coffee. I continue sat there. I maybe even have. I believe the lights have been switched on the last few days of Blackpool. I might go to Blackpool. Uh, I go to a place to eat. Uh, well, there's many. There's uh, the Gurkha which is a serve yourself and they've got a separate there's a bar separate and then you can or you can go into the restaurant which is um, a banquet and yes it's a very good place actually really nice so make a note of that it's on the south near the south pier of Blackpool and uh, very good. Well, the harmonica player is well, maybe he's just having a break. Thought he might have gone, but he could be.
so you're not um, when you zoom in, they're not aware that you know that, that you're up that close and personal. So you won't get a problem. Yeah, there we are at the ice cream van. to my favourite uh, 1930s retro flat with the awful scaffold in there. Oh, I have to actually zoom out to get them in there. Yeah, I like the top one there. Look at that with that window at the top. Yeah. The good thing about that, it's so close that you're not going to have another tower block built in front of it. I wouldn't think so, anyway. So, um, yeah. He's on his phone. Looks like you're talking to yourself. At least when I've got this, they can see I'm talking to a um, camera, you know. A lot of people do. they got their music on and everything, haven't they? Especially when they're travelling or something on a train. Mm, I've got some. Um... Bluetooth earbuds, not like this microphone, but a similar thing. And there's no wires getting stuck around your neck, and you know all that. lined up. Okay then, I'll see you next time, bye.